main menu, but uh, it kind of gives them an idea. Same thing is true uh, with your, your email, um, you know, with your out of office assistant on there. If you're going to be gone, it, it really helps people with some of those things too. Now, I did mention some days I don't get that set, and someone will say, hey, your, your out of office says it's still Friday, and I said, well, that's how far behind I am. And I said, well, if you're caught up to today, I will change it to today, but that's, that's different too. So, um, Communication, you know, that, that has changed so much over the years, you know. It used to be, I mean, that the, the, the letters would be the only thing, you know, that you would have to communicate, the phone and everything else, but now, I mean, with, with email, I, I was talking with my wife over the weekend about, I, I didn't get some correspondence because it went to a different email um, that I had, and so I, and so I was talking, I said, I've got my Mitchell Tech email, mm -hmm. I've got my K-12 email, and, and I, I use those for trying to get a hold of uh, the, the counselors was a little bit easier with that. Um, we have our email at home. Um, when I sold stuff on eBay or regularly, I had a different email account for that. When I set up another piece, I had to set up a, a Gmail account. I mean, I got five email accounts, and there's no way I can, you know, check them all all the time. So I mean, you've got to be careful to make sure that all your information is getting to one spot with all that too. But email is a very easy way to communicate. My my uh, mother-in-law just has a fit that that I would email someone who was right next door to me and I don't get over, over there and tell them. I mean, she just, you know, she just is appalled that I would do something like that. And it's like, yeah, it's just the way it works. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's just easier with some of those things. And, and uh, you know, even, you know, with Hillary, Hillary out front, I mean, if, if we need something, you know, we've got our uh, instant messenger piece, we can use that, we can email, because a lot of times if I walk out there, <clears throat> if she's in the middle of something, then I gotta wait for her, I interrupt her, and if it's an email message, she can take care of it when, when she has time with all that stuff too. But I mean, I, uh, the, the big thing is with email though, is, is like I said, make sure you're getting the information you need, but also, I, I really try to reply to them on a timely basis, and that goes along with the, with the, the voicemails too, I don't have that up there. But, uh, um, you know, if, 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 if whether it's a certain point in time of the day, I, I talked to someone, they were getting so many emails, so then they said, well, okay, from, you know, right after lunch, right before lunch, I will answer emails, and then go to lunch, and then try and, do, you know, answer voicemails between this, this time and this time, too. But, uh, you know, try, try and get back to people in a timely manner, right? And part of that is, is one, <laughs> you don't forget about it, and two, um, they're important that, you know, they, they emailed you or called you for a reason, so you want to get back to them. And, and, you know, most of the time you're talking about your customer with some of those things, too. Um, texting is another, you know, way to communicate now that we once have ever, you know, used, you know, five years ago with all that. Um, the way I see us using texting more in our office right now is we do text some prospective students, but um, we will text each other with some things, too, and that's, that's very... Very handy. Uh, um, you know, if you're on a tour with a student, or or uh, and uh, something comes up where, you know, let's say they want to talk to financial aid, and, and and Morgan is back in the office. You know, someone will send you a text that says Morgan's back, and that's pretty easy as they're talking to the instructor. You can check your phone. Now we aren't sitting there sending texts back and forth with it, you know, that aren't work related with some of those things, but it is a nice, easy way to try and and uh, touch base with someone while while you're on campus with those things too. Expiration days, we'll end up using that a lot as we're taking people around to the different buildings. Now once we're all on one campus, that will help a lot, but uh, that's a, another piece with that too. So, um, I skipped over meetings up there. You know, one thing that, uh, that uh, was on the, the deal too was communication. And, and I, I, you know, I, I think it's really important. In our office area, um, we're, we're still pretty small. So, I mean, it's very easy to communicate. We're we talking about, you know, Something that's going on, a decision we made, a um, new program starting, something like that. Um, you know, we, we get that information out as, as easily as we can, and, and it's you know it's pretty easy to send out an email to everyone or stop by and tell everyone some of those things. Um, but uh, you know, some things that we talk about is you know, if we're talking about adding you know a new program, and it's just kind of well, we don't want you know everyone going crazy about that, or the new apartments being built. You know, that's when we had some word about that. Well, we really couldn't say anything about it until, until we knew that was going to happen. So it was kind of information on, on a need-to-know basis, and, and we made sure everyone needed to know right away um, before everything was completely announced with that. So, so we could be prepared when those things do happen with that. So, so sometimes, uh, you know, there's things that you're going to want to be able to <coughs> excuse me, 
uh, tell people, but you're just going to have to wait a little bit, but it's, it is important to get the message out. Uh, we have uh, monthly meetings in our admissions office. Uh, it's, it's very easy for us to have just a little impromptu meeting about what's uh, happening next week or the next day with some of those things. I meet with Morgan uh, on a weekly basis about some of the things in financial aid just because um, financial aid is more Greek to me than, than the admission side of things. And so, so I, I need more tutoring in that area with some of those things too. So um, don't panic. Um, we, uh, the other day we had uh, uh, two people out, a sick kid, and like two, two or three tours coming at the same time. And it was just going to be me and Hillary in the office. And so it's like, oh, all right, what are we going to do here? But you, everything will get worked out. There's no need to get up in arms. There's no need to get mad, upset, anything else like that. You just got to figure out a way to get around it. And, and I find that, that if you're upset about it or something like that, it, it, all it does is just waste more of my energy. And I'm, I'm old, fat, and slow, and I need all the energy I can get with everything else like that. So, so, um, but, so, so you don't panic on anything. Um, you guys ever watch like Bill Ingvall? You guys know what I'm talking about? Okay. And I think, let's see, I, I saw this, this joke on, the, uh, on the, their uh, comedy tour with him and uh, Ron White and Larry the Cable Guy and Jeff Foxworthy. But anyway, he's talking about this ship captain, him, and uh, um, they, they were, another pirate ship was going to come attack their ship, and, and he asked the, the first man, he said, he said, go get me my red shirt. And so he went and got his red shirt on. He put on his red shirt, and they had their battle, and they won. The pirates were defeated, and they went away. And, and then after that, the, the first mate comes up and says, he goes, he goes, why did you want your red shirt? He goes, ah, because if I was wounded in battle, the, the rest of the, the ship wouldn't see that I was hurt, and they would continue to fight valiantly. And he's like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense, because they couldn't see the blood and everything else like that. So, <coughs> while later, Huge pirate ship, another pirate ship comes on and, and, and they're, they're going to be under attack. And, and he goes to the first mate, he goes, Go get me my brown pants. <laughs> 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 so, but he didn't panic. He had a plan. He had a plan with those things too. And, and, and that's all part of it too is, is, is having a plan with some of those things. When something happens, they're developing a plan. You know, just like the ship's captain didn't. Uh, didn't panic. He had a plan on what he needed to do there. You need to have a little bit of a plan with that too. So, um, another piece: have someone you can talk to. Um, a, a lot of times, if there's someone you can can kind of talk to, can kind of vent at work, a lot of those things help a lot. I mean, and, and it's just you know a, a confidant that way too. Sometimes that person is outside of work, at home. <coughs> um, 